What's good YouTube, it's your boy Sky Jordan here. And in this video right here, I'm gonna be showing you how to export stems in FL Studio. But if you're a rapper, beginner engineer, you just got FL Studio and you don't really know how to export stems when somebody be like, can you export the stems, send me the stems? This is how you do it, man. Also, 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 this is what you wanna do. You wanna clean up a session. I did this on purpose. I recorded like a shitload of shit. <laughs> a shitload of takes, all right? It's a lot of takes here. And um, I'm gonna show you how, we, how we're gonna clean this up. So you wanna go up here to the WAV file, right? Before we even export the stems, because we don't wanna send unnecessary files that we don't need, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go select unused, and we're just gonna right click, and we're just gonna delete everything, right? We're gonna delete all the unused clips. And you just, if you got a lot of them, it's gonna take a little minute. Um, so, all right. Um, all right. So this are the files that's used in here, right? These are the files. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this track up here at the top because I don't need it no more. All right. So now these are all the files we got right here, and and now we finna get the stems out, right? So this. Present no. I just wanna. Alright, so look, so now we got the, we got the song right. We got everything we need. So how are we gonna get the stems? There's a lot of ways we can consolidate these tracks, right? So we can right click on here, and we can go from tr song start. We can do this, and we can consolidate the whole file right there. So we can consolidate that, make that a wave, right? We can do this, you know. All right. We can make one stem like this, right? And do the same for that and that right there. Or we could do it like this. We just go, you know, go to file, you go to file, go to export, and then you wanna go like the wave. All right, so we're gonna make a folder. We're gonna be stems. All right, so we're gonna hit save because we want the stems to be in wave format, right? So we got cut remainder, full song, and that's the length of the song. If you want the MP3s, that's cool, whatever. It's up to you. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go split mixer tracks, right? So this is this is what you want to do. If you're sending raw stems, raw, no effects whatsoever, you want to turn that off. You want to turn this off. You don't want no effects on it whatsoever. So you take that off. You don't save tempo information. If you want to, you can click that. Um, but you want to go to split mixer tracks. So let's say if you send it to somebody and they don't have auto tune and they don't have it and they're gonna mix it for you, um, you can send it with the auto tune on. But let's say if they got all the plugins and they just wanna just have the raw vocals, it's always good to have the raw vocals. It's just good for you to keep the raw vocals as well. So you just wanna turn that off and you wanna hit split mixer tracks. And then you wanna make sure it's in 24 and stereo, all right? And then all we do is hit start and it's gonna run it all right let us do its thing it beeps you go to your folder and you want to find your stuff so we go to stems and there we have our folder right here we have all our files we have stems So that's the beat. This the master. Gang, you don't even claim your key. As you can notice, I didn't, I didn't label what it is. So you want to make sure you label whatever it is, right? Because you see how it's saved in here. We got export insert seven, export insert seventeen. So book. So you kind of want to make sure you label everything right here. Like 17, that's the beat. So you can be like, you know, you just go back, rename it. Um, instrumental. All right. Just say it's the person a lot of time. And you can be like, okay, this was the first stem, second stem, third stem, fourth stem. So whenever it comes to exporting the stems, that's how you can do it. Just make sure you be organized on how you do it. 
and make sure you label everything the correct way so the person that's mixing your songs or collabing with you they know exactly what each file is and make sure that you're not sending unnecessary files clean up the files that you're not using that's not used in this session and just send the stems if somebody tells you to send the stems that's what you do all right learn how to send the stems bro your engineers the producers they will love you they will they will fucking love you if you know how to send the stems all right but make sure you like comment subscribe to this channel for more fl videos pro tools logic garage band garage band on your phone ableton whatever man whatever it is bro if you can record in it you probably can find it on this channel but make sure you like comment subscribe to this channel all right